Okay, okay. Ram, Ram, <laughs> stay for free. You are market player. Don't pay market price, guys. So my aim is my first home is I want to buy. I was looking for property for own stay, but then like after the session, they said like Farcap have a uh, two property, which is the Yuna and also Miss Chia. My concern is that because I mean my family already have. Uh, a property around the area so i'm not which sure area specifically I... sepang or nilai sepang is near the kota warisan so i was like macam thinking should i go for the same area property or should i wait for another because for your information i'm currently working in tj but i'm staying in shalam so that one is my family punya house lah in that area sepang Okay. So I'm also looking for like some property around this DJ area, some somewhere like that lah. So what's your much like, advice? Should I go for that for much like, making this property my portfolio or how? I am definitely in favor of uh buying into a single kawasan compared to you merata-rata beli lah. Simply mm-hmm. because okay. once you become a specialist, you you know the areas are out. Mm-hmm. And normally they can under spill over. If you claim satu property and property you dah disewakan, then you can always recommend your second property. You can't do that kalau you ada satu kat PJ, satu kat Sepang, satu kat Nilai, you know. Yeah, People because... who are looking for property in PJ will not go to Sepang. Does that make sense? <laughs> it does not make sense lah. <laughs> uh, so, which is why, for example, when I begin to be my portfolio, I buy a lot of studio units around KLCC, around Bukit Bintang. Now, okay. kenapa? If one unit habis, I can always recommend the other unit. And normally, they will accept. Sebab dekat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's the beauty bila ada banyak unit tau. Within satu kawasan satu. So, number one, macam I dulu, I know exactly who's going to rent, when do they come, how much they are willing to pay, right? Mm-hmm. And dia punya PL tu, I dah tahu semua. So, even as 10 unit pun, mm-hmm. I was able to manage. And I bought sublet je, dia pun of time. I only had dua property je, tapi this dua property tu, orang tanya tu tak putus-putus. So, that's why I ambil sublet daripada unit orang lain pula. So, guys, listen guys, being a specialist is far greater than being a generalist, right? <laughs> I've met so many people, sembang gebang, ada apartment, ada flat, ada rumah landed, ada kilang, ada office. Tak ke mana portfolio, right? Some do well, some do very bad. Better be a specialist and do well in all. So, I met people who actually ada lebih pada 5 unit kat Bangi. I don't like Bangi, tapi he's doing very well kat Bangi. And I know a friend who basically owns more than 10 units kat Shah Alam. I don't like Shah Alam. He's doing very well oh. there. Sebab dia memang tahu the area is out. So you ask me, I am in favor of a specialist rather than a generalist. If you become a doctor, a specialist doctor is paid a lot more compared to a generalist. If you become an engineer pun sama juga. Okay, uh, I think another concern of mine is because since this is my first time to buy a property, right? So because I have to get a place where I can make it as the own stay first I also need like macam some additional cash flow because it's also like if I go for Miss Chia I get, can get the cash back mm. it's better for me to uh, go for it and buy property first and then get a monthly cash flow while I myself rent somewhere else or maybe I can use that property that I want to buy for me stay there and make uh, macam cool living ke something like that So I don't own the place I'm saying. I'm renting. Mm-hmm. I've rented it for two years. I've just told the owner I'm going to stay for another three more years. So I I not do this in 6 tahun. I malah nak fikir banyak. Malah nak pindah. <laughs> okay. Because my time is worth a lot. So for me, rather than I'm trying to own everything and apa semua tu, I just rent where I like. Senang cerita. Renting senang. You nak pindah, you can pindah next month. You kena pindah kerja, you can pindah. Correct. Owning, right? So you better make sure that you want to keep it for at least 5 to 10 years. So I feel that you have an advantage lah kalau you beli kat Sepang. It doesn't look as sexy and apa semua tu. Tapi you dah tahu Sepang. You dah tahu siapa. Yep. So for mm-hmm. me, you be flexible. You own what makes sense for you from a cash flow point of view. And then mm-hmm. kat mana yang nak duduk tu, you pergi rent. And the tip here is that the more higher end the property, the more value for money you can get from renting punya point of view. So you actually get very nice place for high end property for the same budget. Tapi kalau you cuba ru- buat room rental for medium cost, low cost ni, you are going to pay through your nose. Yes. So tu yang kelakar tu. And you want to stay in nice place because you're going to come back to it every day. Right? Amanda is renting juga. Right? Mm. Because the place that she wants to stay is nearby, is very convenient and apa semua tu. And for us, you know, we own a bunch of property. We just rent out our property. And then whatever we love to stay, we rent. Sebab it's expensive to buy what we like. Tapi it's cheap Correct. to rent. Very concern for us lah because we are still working that, yeah, I'm still single. Should I buy the next five years where I can stay there or maybe should I rent first so you want you want an even more better idea or not yes of course I want you are not a fucked client so you dah tahu dah you beli property dapat cashback so you modal dah ada so what you do you go and cari newly VP property kat PJ dekat dengan tempat kerja you cari newly VP property because mesti ada banyak owner bodoh yang tak ada ilmu yang tak tahu nak buat apa dengan property dia okay. and then you 
lock the rental for 5 tahun you furnish the lock guna modal tu mm-hmm. you pergi sewakan bilik-bilik yang lain you duduk situ for free oh that's a good idea strategy actually okay, okay. ram <laughs> ram stay for free you are market player don't pay market price guys So now you own a property, your property is not going to be negative cash flow and you cari lah owner bodoh sikit, you lock kan, eh, rental lama-lama kan, 4-5 <laughs> tahun kan because if lagi lama you lock, lagi murah, mana yes. you pergi sublet mm, So the right. day you kena tukar kerja ke, switch to another place ke, whatever that you are currently investing tu, you can still rent out So today mm. my unit, I dapat murah, market mm-hmm. value dia sebab 4,000 plus, I rent for 2008 but I know for a fact kalau I pindah hari ni, I can rent it for 3,500 tomorrow, no problem mm. So I make 600 ringgit even if mm. I don't want to stay here, mm-hmm. but because you lock long term tu ah, dia murah lah. banyak yes, ilmu yes. diperturunkan malam ni, ni now now you get to stay in PJ for free ah, you let me know what's the outcome ah, in the next 6 months ok sure I will alright ah. thank you Pfizer alright you're welcome